So our band name is Third Nature. It kind of came about because, I don't know, we had a hard time choosing a name at first. Uh, we thought about like, what, music is kind of like a second nature to us. But then there's three of us in the band, so we thought, well, Third Nature. Matt came up with the name. Tyler, I play guitar. This is my This is Antonio, and he doesn't do anything. He just likes track. I did, I'm the groupie. Yeah. Okay. But I play bass. He's a, he's a I play bass. I play bass. <laughs> I'm Matt, and I play drums. We have three genres of music that we like most. That would be progressive rock, funk, and jazz. We kind of tend to fuse those together a little bit in our music, or at least we try to. And yeah, so far it's come out pretty good. We're really happy with the original. Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Steely Dan. Uh, George Benson. The Beaters. Uh, Josh Kilohertz. Ah, he's right. Zeus and the Rabbis. Reckless flesh. Hey, Reckless Zeus and the Rabbis. There you go. Enough said. Alright, there we go. Next, next. Musketeers are music. We're really bad. That's horrible. We write original music and it kind of starts with a riff that we all like and then it kind of it translates into you know like what we think the music or what we think the lyrics should be about. Uh, that's usually the last process, but it's just kind of everyone coming together, coming up with sections. Sometimes. Well, it really works together as a band. There's a lot of communication. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot of the time, we have these like ten minute jam sections. And sometimes, like the whole part of the song will come out of that. So and we actually, uh, for our fourth original, which we're still kind of working on, uh, we started composing a little bit by like we come up with the chords beforehand and then play them and see how they sound, and then we come up with riffs. So when we create our music, we try to be as complex and put it in our own, like what we like to do. Well, I think my, my parents were like kind of a big influence. They talk about, or they used to show me like bands, just like old classic rock bands, and that kind of got me, that kind of got me into it. And my dad played music as a, as a young guy, so he kind of got me into playing guitar. This guy started first, he started playing guitar, and since I was a good friend of his, like, I, both of us grew up listening to really hardcore and awesome music. Not hardcore as in like metal, but like badass music, bro. Anyway, and then I'm like, well, I can't play guitar because two guitars are me, that's fucking me. So, like, I'll just play bass. My brother was like nine years old, he started playing electric guitar, and so I was like, hey, you know, maybe I should. I started playing drums so I could yeah, yeah. So I did. And I've been playing for about seven years. Every minute that we're together making music, it's living, you know. I, I, that's what I live for. I love making music. And I know I can speak to these guys when I say that they were both.
show? What? <laughs> oh, I mean the show, the Hurricane Festival. You know? Oh, Got it. Okay. But like at, at in that general, time, in general. In general, repeat the question. <laughs> Visually, it's disturbing. <laughs> and then uh, musically, it's creative. I think that people like cry. They like us because they can cry to our music. They can really relate to it. What it comes down to is the music. That's what we're all about. All the attention from women just gets a little old, you know? We're, we're, we're kind of tired of it. Like, at first it was cool, but I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, I, I think that, wait, what was the question again? The hardest part of being The hardest part of being this band sometimes is, I've noticed that like I'll come to points in my music career where like I can't play bass, I suck at bass, why do I go up here, why do I try like this? Because the, as I get better, as I evolve into a better musician, I noticed how much more I still have to learn. And I think that's uh, one of the biggest obstacles in my way all the time is myself. You told all, me. All we three heard of about those this. Was bec were because of you. Yeah. You rock, man. Stefan Salas is incredible. Stephen he Salas told us about all this brilliant. stuff. Man, He's such a brilliant, brilliant. guy. Like, what he put on all this. Thank you, Stefan, for doing this. Yeah, I, I, honestly, it was it was an honor to play, and we hope to be back next year. He's, he's a great musician in his own right as well. <laughs> they they play uh, hardcore, awesome metal. Uh, we all enjoy metal, even though we don't play it. It's not okay. What is it? I, thrash, thrash metal. metal. They play thrash. Yeah. See, I'm bad because I used to like metal, but no. I never knew like all the different genres. When I thought of metal, I thought of like. Yeah. Black metal, Dream Norwegian Dream. black metal. Dream. I thought of uh, oh, my of God. the Beatles. No, actually, I, to be honest, the show was awesome, and I'd be happy if it was the same next year. Yeah. Don't change but, anything. It was incredible. It was, but you know, definitely, if you're watching this, come to the next Hurricane Festival. It's gonna rock. Yeah. It's fun. You get to bring your friends. You get to see a lot so, of good bands. September 2000. You guys can like come drink if you're 21. Or if you're not 21. Never mind, you can't drink if you're 21. Uh, uh, you can basically bring your friends though. It'll be a lot of fun. There's kick ass music. Bring some pot. No. Have a good time. No. You're, you're, no. Actually, there might be Don't a couple down. places. There might be a couple places where you can go do that, audience would be much more interactive. It's, it's because of the man, dude. It's the government that keeps you in fear. <laughs> okay? And I, I'm, I'm gonna say this because it's them that's keeping you back. Okay. That's it. Alright, cool. Is that it? Interview's over. Oh, dude.